Men, Missouri residents will soon get a rare view of an out of this world event. We are 175 days away from the total solar eclipse of 2017. The August 21st event is going to be epic. Well, the sun went out today. For a little under three minutes. The United States hasn't seen a total solar eclipse since 1979. It was the last total eclipse of the sun for North America until the year 2017. Thou that once futuristic sounding year is here and the celestial promise Walter Cronkite foretold is coming. And so are the crowds of eclipse enthusiasts. You think what it's like for homecoming or when true false happens or Bruce and Blues and Barbecue and how many people come to town. And then think about what it's like around the stadium on a game day. And then think about how that's going to be a path 70 miles wide all across the state. That 70 mile wide path is called the Umbra. Most people know a solar eclipse is when the moon's shadow falls on the earth. The shadow is made of two concentric cones. In the larger penumbra, people will see a partial solar eclipse. But those of us in the Umbra will experience a total eclipse. It's a rare moment many people will want to experience and accommodating the big crowds could turn out to be an astronomical challenge. The emergency services are kind of working on it, but we don't have any precedent for this, so it's kind of hard to figure out what this is going to be like. It's kind of like a natural disaster, it's just that we know it's going to happen, and hopefully nobody's going to die. Megan McConaughey of the Columbia Convention and Visitors Bureau says... This is a big deal. She's been dealing with this for more than a year. Como Eclipse, show me totality. We have a national and international interest on this. We have the Boston Astronomy Club. They're going to be coming and doing their viewing here in mid-Missouri. We've had calls from London, calls from Georgia, calls from California. As far as the super surge of people, some expect... It's really hard to know if we'll actually have that many people here. We're planning for kind of what would look like a really busy football game on a Monday afternoon. So that kind of throws a wrench into the whole thing. Uh, we're definitely going to try to send the traffic to our two major viewing locations, one of which is at Cosmo Park and the other which is at Gans Creek Recreation Area. And so we want to push you know, the traffic outside of the center of the city as much as possible. And if you don't think you can accommodate incoming family and friends in your own house, you may want to tell them to book a room now. Our rooms are already starting to fill up, and I'm guessing in the next couple of months we'll probably be completely full. As the planets literally align on the 21st of August, you can see the eclipse in many safe ways. Obviously, I don't have to tell you not to look into the sun, but if you need to look before it's totally eclipsed, you can use these eclipse glasses. This is a luminized mylar, and it will protect your eyes from the sun's dangerous rays. If you want to view it and you can't afford the dollar or two that it costs for the glasses, you can't view it directly with your eyes, but you can make a pinhole camera very cheaply. And making an old school pinhole viewer is easy. All you need, a couple pieces of paper or cardboard, you poke a hole, let the sun peek through that hole, and you'll see a crescent forming during the partial eclipse. Once the sun's gone fully eclipsed, it's okay for you to look at the sun. ABC 17 News will be following the developments and city planning leading up to the eclipse. If you miss the total eclipse in August, don't do that. You're going to have to wait until 2024 to see the next one, and it won't come through our area.